Howdy guys, I'm back with more Fallout New Vegas. Today I'm going to clean out a few of these side quests. First I'm going to finish my kind of town. Originally I wanted to reprogram Prim Slim to be the Sheriff of Prim, but I didn't have the items before and now I do. Howdy partner, welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Alright, here we go. Reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's sheriff using three fission batteries and four conductors. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> authorization found. Yeehaw! Alright, well, <laughs> that's all there was to it. Better Happy trails, partner. <laughs> better better late than never. Howdy. What do you Heard think? Heard it was about you that? brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's all he has to say. Hats yeah, off bye. to me. <laughs> well, like I said, better late than never. Alright, well, while I'm here, there was another side quest I wanted to finish, which was repairing, um, I'm not sure if it's Eddie, Edie, <laughs> oh gosh, someone really needs to clean this place up, I've, it, it's been forever since I've been here, and there's still just bodies everywhere, and all these people are doing are walking around holding guns, they don't look like they've got, like, jobs or anything, <laughs> all right, damaged robot, all right, this is an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There is very little in the way of serious damage. So I'm an idiot, so forget science. I'm going to try to fix it. Some servos and uh, gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced, but it looks as though the robot can be repaired. Repair 65 or higher. I think my repair is high enough. Let's try repair with parts. Um, let's see. It, look, it looks as though the damaged servos and gyroscopes could replace, be replaced with the correct components. Requires three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics, which I just so happen to have that exact amount in my inventory. Funny how that works. Fix it with the parts. <laughs> Ooh, fade to black. Oh, it's full. Oh. Makes beeping sounds. Very, very quiet. I didn't really hear it. Companion protocol conflict rex oh so i could only either have maybe rex or eddie or whatever so what happens if i click this makes beeping sounds you can only have one follower at a time oh okay well that's working again it uh didn't clear the quest out of my inventory but i guess i didn't or not inventory out of my quest log but I guess I didn't really do what I was supposed to do with it. Well, darn. I just hate to have something in my in my log here that I can't I can't clear out. I mean I guess I could tell Rex to stay you behind. Have seen but... one of those rangers in black armor? I wouldn't want to make one of those mad. <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble to get Rex's brain. I, I I went through all of the fort and killed a lot of people in the Legion for this brain, but but uh, yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna leave Rex behind for that robot thing. Ugh, I hate having a quest just sitting here though. Oh gosh, well what do I want to do now? Um, I've got two different jacks in my quest log. Uh, this was the the boomer jack, right? Find Jack's love interest. Where's that? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, I need to go to the... Don't I need to go? To, it's not a... Or it's right by the medical clinic, clinic. I think I have deliver... Oh, yeah. This is still pretty fresh in my mind. I think I can get both of these done at the same time over here. So... Oh, I haven't discovered the New Vegas Medical Clinic. Or this place. Um, I guess is the east side closer? Let's go find out. Well, gosh, I was hoping it would be quest log cleanup, but 
that ED1 might have to stay there for a while. I don't know if I should leave Rex behind, if there's something I can I, I can do with it. Maybe I should have left Rex behind and tried to talk to it. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's see how the heck I can get to the, the medical clinic from here. All right, we got some, oh, just some traveling merchants there. Ooh, looks nice all lit, lit up at night, doesn't it? Well, what little bit you can see. All right, let's go on over here. Uh, I'll probably go to Bitter Springs with Boone, like, oh, here we go, Crimson Caravan Company, this is it. Where are they all? This, this building's, like, destroyed, I don't know where exactly, I, oh, that building there, maybe, there's a person? Nope, oh, nope, that's a, that's a plant, that's not a person. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to follow the quest marker before I hurt myself. This must be the medical clinic here. Then what What part of that was the caravan? All right, New Vegas Medical Clinic. What is what is this all about? Is It's a smiley with, with an X. It's not very inviting. All right, in we go. And just dropping off a hey. quick message. Dr. Usanagi, here we go. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. What? Implants? Okay, and fully qualified. Qualified by, by whose standards? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here's what I'm here for. Corporal Betsy's coming to you to fix her brain. It's not working right. Well, that's kind of a strange way to state it, but yeah. I'm assuming you're referring to mental trauma. Yeah. I'll make time in my schedule. Oh, all right. Easy enough. Side quest cleanup. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Does she... Let me see. You sell plants, too? <laughs> uh, no. Implants, oh. not plants. <laughs> They're little machines I can put inside you to make you faster, quicker, or smarter. I recommend the <laughs> smarter implant. <laughs> I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. Oh. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before Ooh, your eyes. I want that one. <laughs> All right, right. I forgot I was. I forgot I was an idiot. How how could I forget? <laughs> I I want to buy an implant. That actually sounds really sweet. One other thing I forgot to mention: your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. Oh. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Oh, it's actual surgery. I'd like to have more muscles make me see better can you make me tougher got anything to make people like me better i want to be smarter do you have something to make me quicker can you make me luckier sub what now i'm interested in that i'd like the regenerating ability and never mind i think i would honestly like the regenerating ability but hey this could be my way to get smarter i could finally read some of those books i've been carrying around but no i I was shot in the face. There's there's no making me smarter. I am what I am, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many choices. What, what's sub what now? I'm interested in that. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit oh, pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. Iron? It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Ooh, I don't have the caps right now. That's all right. Oh my goodness. Implants are like luxury items. Okay, let me Which see. Which surgery the... option are you considering? What's the, with the, um, I like the regenerating one. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is oh. very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. It's even more pricey. Holy moly. <laughs> Sounds like a really pricey way to just be a walking mass of, of tumors or something, though. Yeah, I can't afford that. That's Holy, all right. Holy, that's expensive. I'm going to have to start uh, really putting aside some money for that. 
Um, what do you have for... Because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. Give me a discount on those, that darn surgery. Oh, she actually sells bobby pins. If only I could, like, actually use them for something. Ooh, stim packs galore. Gosh, well, she's got a lot of money, but now that I know, I've got to save up for implants. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Boy, I never thought I Take would be care. saying that. Saving up for implants. What a time we live in. <sighs> All right. Well, two, or I guess kind of three quests down. But I, one of them's not going to leave my inventory. <laughs> or I keep wanting to call this an inventory, a quest log. All right. Uh, where was it? Find um, Jack's love interest, which she's like right here. This is working out really. Oh, here's the Crimson K. Ooh, it's like a whole place. I see. I see. Oh, I like missed all of this. Open gate to Crimson Caravan Company. Okay. So I wonder if it's going to be immediately obvious hey. to who I need to find here. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Oh. Okay, thanks. So what's next for you, Ringo? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Ugh, but then you're in Utah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I guess it's... The whole world ended. What's Utah compared to the rest of the world now? All right, who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Hmm, all righty. I'll see you around. Probably not who I'm looking for then. Oh, oh, you're just a random guard. Gosh, this is kind of a nice place. You get a wonderful view from here. All right, we got just... Oh, Blake, you look important. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Oh, okay. Um, show me what you have for sale. Let's see about that selection, Can do. if it really is that great. Actually, yeah, wow, holy moly, he does have a lot of... Oh, my, he does have a lot of stuff. Not as much money as the doctor back there. Wow, this is actually quite a lot of stuff. If I ever need anything, he might actually be the guy I might need to come see. What the heck? Stress in the in the modern refugee apprentice. What the heck is this? <laughs> tiny, tiny babies, all you need to know about pediatric medicine. I think I have a quest for that, actually. But it's helping the NCR. Ew. But it's, like, right there. Like... Like, if I, like, like, it's only 29 caps, will that actually, oh, okay, yeah, see, I, that was actually one of the quests I didn't mind leaving unfinished. Gosh darn it, it's so easy to help the NCR, isn't it? Okay, so can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Um, oh, let's see, where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merchandise? Yeah, seriously, you guys have a lot of stuff. Trade routes, my friend, trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Oh. Do your caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. Pretty smart. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Gosh, that's really sad though that you have that's what you have to resort to but that's i guess that's life out here huh where are you from a little place in the ncr called oak creek used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers <laughs> i didn't want to herd brahmin for a living so i signed on with the crimson caravan and headed east not much to tell really wait no no that there's something to tell i want to play that game farmers versus ranchers that sounds legendary dude i'd love to see that one all right all Need right. anything else um i realized i didn't even finish looking Can through do. all this stuff there i just like a few weird things caught my eye and then i was like oh cool um oh you can buy a a brahmin skull like oh it's just junk okay maybe it's for decoration or something Huh. Okay, Stra I wonder if this is for anything. I feel like that must be for something, because I don't think I've seen that anywhere. 
Um, oh. Oh, okay, so that was the other part of the... See ya. I didn't even ac actually really look at the quest here. Let me see. What was it? Bring the textbooks back. Oh, and like three doctor's bags, which I'm sure I just happen to have. Uh, of course I do. I might... I'm gonna have to end up helping the NCR again. Well... I can't even say I'm doing it to help people because I gave them, like, radioactive supplies. I think I'm just chaos. <laughs> Those codes oh. got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Um, okay, whatever you say. Is this... Oh, the Crimson Caravan main office. I wonder if there's anybody important in here. Let's see. You look important. Uh, oh. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Oh, she's cool. She's wearing a, a suit with a tie. I'm looking for work. Yeah, right. I forgot some stuff about... What? This doesn't seem to be need to be here. I forgot some stuff about the jobs you wanted me to do. I don't... Have we met? <laughs> um, I'd like to know more about the Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? Let's see... Yeah, you're well dressed for this place. Normally, I oversee company operations at the Hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Okay. Well then, sure, yeah. All right. How, how long have you been in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. Holy moly. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Oh, Gosh, it's crazy to see how all these different groups and factions can get all tangled up with each other. So do you have any competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm... All right. I'm done. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm wondering why this is here. I'm going to click on it just out of curiosity. I forgot some stuff about the jobs you wanted me to do. Very well. <laughs> what job did you need more information on? Uh, I feel really confused. I'm just going to go. <laughs> Thank you. Was there something else? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. I'm like, uh, I don't know what any of that stuff is. And our uh, rangers are going to show everyone what happens. I thought she was off. dancing to the music or something. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, you look important. I should kill you right here for what you've done. What? What? A I should kill you right here for what you've done. Everyone's so mean to me. <laughs> So I can't look at this terminal, but no one's going to mind if I get on this one. Huh, okay. New Canaan branch proposal. Oh, gosh. I'm not really sure if I should... Oh, I see something about the NCR. The Mormons are warming up to the idea of a Crimson Caravan branch being established in New Canaan. Naturally, the taxes are such that we'll be at a severe disadvantage to their own caravans. The long-term solution is to overwhelm them with a flood of cheap NCR goods. I'll have to call in some favors with our contacts back in California, but the potential profit margins are worth it. Huh. So, I'm not sure what this is about. So, basically, that maybe they're going to try to undercut this other caravan and in hopes that they won't prosper and then when they go under they can jack their prices back up oh gosh well these guys aren't uh, very very good are they efforts to encourage Henry Jameson to resign have so far failed his parents are proving stubborn as well obviously they don't want him getting around or want him around any more than I do Getting the new Vegas branch up and running should have been a simple job for him, but this place is still as crude and primitive as any frontier branch. Very irritating. Ooh, I don't know if I like these people. From I'm not really getting the whole story here. Gunrunner tariff. Alice, your push for a new tariff on gunrunner weapons didn't make it past the Senate. They've got too much pull in California. We're going to have to find some other way to get the upper hand in the weapons market. Jason Tag, Modoc, 
branch manager oh gosh this is this feels over my one over my one iq head we're talking about tariffs and markets and trading and i'm just like uh, no <laughs> all right war effort mccarran has requested more frequent supply runs to their outlying outposts i've been able to negotiate additional terms in our favor but I may, may need to lower our hiring standards <laughs> to meet the demand. Hey, that's where I come in. I'm already concerned about the reliability of some of the caravaneers. We're, uh, were it not for the work contracts, I know some of them would have run off a long time ago. Nobody seems to believe in hard work anymore. Hmm. Maybe I can help these people out in the name of sabotaging it let's see let's the, talk to her welcome back let's see um so I'm, I'm looking for work maybe maybe it seems like you need need some people according to that terminal i'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards but i am in need of a runner uh-huh i'll take it what do you need me to do deliver this invoice to dr hildern oh. you can find him somewhere inside camp mccarran oh that's it all right <laughs> it's been a pleasure you can depend on me. All right, and now the real shenanigans begin when I don't actually help them. Oh. Uh, all right. Um, Those cons got the hint. We've oh, okay. shown everyone that these are our saying new the territories. Same thing. All right, so maybe this person, maybe one of these people. Oh, can I? I guess can I jump over this? Where's the? Where's the gate to this? Pi oh, there, there's a big gaping hole right here. Maybe uh, I found Jack's love right here. It's a Brahmin. It must be Janet right here. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Redhead. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? <laughs> I've been inside, Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice-looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. <laughs> What's he like? Oh, okay, so she's not totally creeped out by that. I thought she would freak out and go running for the hills. He's nice, maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you are the love of his life. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. Uh-huh. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not realistic at all. Like, I think anyone else would be right creeped out. But it's it's the apocalypse. Maybe times are different. I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. I can lie. You have permission. They know you're coming. Oh, my gosh. She would get blown up. That's horrible. I, I'm i almost tempted to do it. No, no, no. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'll go talk to Pearl if you're willing to go. I, I've already been through the explosions. It's not fun. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Oh, it's it's hard not to be completely evil. All right, so I'm gonna have to go talk to Pearl now. But let me finish. Uh, let me finish looking around here. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, there's a little workbench. I really, honestly, have yet to really do anything with any of. The, yeah. All right. <laughs> it looks like just a bunch of Brahmin. I can go out to this exit here. There's a little house here. I'm not sure if I can go inside. Oh, yep, looks like I can. This guy just did the barracks. Oy, everyone is really cozy at the Crimson Caravan. I'd hate to have to live like this. Oh, there's Ringo. Oh, someone's, someone's got a little secret under the bed here. Just a bunch of... Uh, no name people. Okay, all right. Those well. free side thugs aren't worth our time anymore. Uh huh. All right. And all right. I guess I'm I'm done in here then. I hmm. I guess there's is that a building I can? No, I think it's all boarded up. All right. Cleaning up side quests. I need to go speak with Pearl. I'm. I think I'm on pretty good terms with the boomers. I don't think that there's any reason that Pearl wouldn't let an outsider like that in. 
I mean, you know, they've got a, they've got young people that need to go, like, get out in the world and stuff. I mean, you can't just keep, uh, like, procreating with your same population of people. You'll have, like, a genetic bottleneck or, or something. I mean, it's, there's only so, what I'm saying, there's only so many people here. Come on. <laughs> it, they definitely, the boomers definitely need to get out in the world a little bit. I wonder if I can go into the hangars if the, um, if the airplane that they pulled out of the lake is in there, if it's being worked on. Probably not. <laughs> okay, so was this Pearl's barracks? I think it is. Yep. All right, in I go. And where is the old gal? Here she is. Hey, Pearl. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? All right, Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, she works for the Crimson, uh, the Crimson Caravan. Just some, <laughs> just some kooky dame looking for love. Oh, that's, oh, it's so tempting to, oh, I'll just, she works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traders. They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. Ooh. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Ooh, maybe I should have kept the Crimson Caravan thing on the down low. I trust Mother Pearl. Let's see. It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. I assure you Janet would not be a threat, and never mind. Well, of course, I'm going to go with the speech option. It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come here. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter. But he is responsible for her actions. Uh-oh. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Well, I feel like she's so young... Later. ...that... ...that, like... What, what pull does she really have in the Crimson Caravan? Like, I don't feel like she's really... There's any possible way she could be a threat. I feel like it's probably just her life and if she found love she'd probably be willing to give it up i mean i don't know maybe not i don't know i've spoken i've spoke two sentences two sentences to her so what do i know all right let's go talk to jack and maybe see if that plane has made it in here probably not i doubt it and eh, it looks uh i don't know what are you guys doing in here anyway? <laughs> hey you, talk to me. This has been a dream come true to work on the lady. I don't think I've seen Loyal this frisky in years. Frisky? Alright, um, I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way to pass the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. <laughs> I'll let the gunners know she's coming, and not to shoot at her. I think I had my own boomer outfit, but alright. So, back to Janet then. This has been a dream come true to work on the lady. I don't think I've seen loyal. Okay, yeah, you just said that. Anyway, I can help out. <laughs> like I said, I can never get enough. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I. I should have grabbed some. All right. Um, and I don't think he has he. Once a yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that bomber a beauty? Thanks so much for making an old man's dreams come true. All right, time for me to go. Is that? Oh, is this it? Or no, that's just um, that's just a part that was already here, huh? All right, let's go back to Janet. So much back and forth. Oops, that's not where to go. So much running back and forth, but that's the nature of RPGs, isn't it? All right, let's see. And Janet's all the way back at the Crimson Caravan Company. Thank goodness for fast travel, at least, right? It would be a lot more of a chore if I had to get up on my horse and you know, ride back and forth, right? I'm glad those damn bots are gone for good. Exactly. Alright, where did Janet, is she still in this pen or is she in the barracks now? Looks like, uh, and yeah, what time is it anyway? Oh, yeah, it's like two in the morning. What am I doing up? Love, I guess love never, or helping lovers never, I don't know. Well, can't rest. Oh, there's a pistol there. Interesting. Cupid never rests. There Hello we again. go. <laughs> How's your boomer friend? 
All right, uh, he's doing well. I'll come back when I have more info. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Let's see, I got a boomer uniform for you to wear. And you have, oh, I can lie again. I still, I'm, I'm guessing I can tell her this and then go hang out beside the fence with some popcorn. No, I got a boomer outfit for you to wear. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. <sighs> Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. And let me guess, I'm gonna have to do... Uh, nothing is ever simple, is it? I'm gonna have to do Janet's job for her, which, hey, that actually works out because that means I can sabotage it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. me and my one IQ. I'm getting pretty clever. Oh, I, I didn't realize they had like a cool barbecue like spot back over here, if you can well call it that. All right, let's see if uh, she's still in here. Oh, those Legion elite. Oh, troops I guess not. Blood. She must have. She probably went some. I guess I should look at the actual um, quest thingy. Ah, guard barracks. Is she in here? Let's see. Just a bunch of guards in here. Hmm. What's the? Oh, there's a door. Ah, here she is. Okay. What's What's in here though? Oh, it's a just a bathroom. Let's, uh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't steal anything while I'm in here. There's too Things many. Things stranger every day. Armed guards. Welcome back. All right. Um, Janet's asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. And are work contracts common for the Crimson Caravan Company? Yeah. Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies, rather have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time after which they get paid. After their upkeep and expenses are hmm. deducted, of course. Upkeep. Hmm. Hmm. That, that sounds a little suspicious to me. What kind of upkeep expenses? Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes. Just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Uh-huh. And how much of that exactly does it cost? Are the work contracts legal? Yes, and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up for. We don't hide anything with fancy talk. Ugh. I mean, I understand. I mean, I understand that you need to, you know, work before you're paid. But, I mean, I don't know about this upkeep. If it's, I mean, if it's 100% transparent, sure. But these types of things rarely are, aren't they? It seems like the companies are getting the better deal. They get labor and just have to pay upkeep with some spending money. That's because we are. Wow. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, okay. All right. Is there anything else I can do I for mean, you? I may mean, maybe, maybe it's all by the books and it's all good. You know, maybe I'm just being a little too skeptical here. So anyway, Janet's asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. <laughs> it's a small camp. More gets around. I'll say. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Mm-hmm. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Oh. Oh, I see what you did that. That's, no, okay, now that's BS. You should be paid for what you've done. You have a deal. I need to consider your offer. I can barter. <laughs> Janet's wages can't be that much. Why bother keep, yeah, really, they're probably a drop in the bucket for her. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Yeah, really. Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful, but I'll allow it. Just this once. Oh. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Well, that's not very... That's not really very good, honestly. I mean, you know, Our if Rangers someone else... Show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. You know, if someone else needs to leave... I mean, life happens, right? What if there's an emergency? What if one of these people had, like, a loved one that, you know, got really sick or was passing on and they just had to go split for a few months? And it's like, hey, you don't get your wages. Sorry. 
Oh, it's just not right. Um, where did the... Uh, was Janet not? Am I losing my mind? Was Janet not in here? Oh, she's right there, derp. Boone's like, she's right here. <laughs> Standing Hello. right over her. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yep. I convinced her to pay you what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Me either. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and I got Boomer's fame out of it, too. All right. Oh, I get to meet. Oh, she's actually going to Nellis. Oh, cool. So I get to actually meet her there. Cool. Oh, what the heck? She actually. Wow. Go, girl. Go, go, go. Look at her go. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, she's gonna get there way before I do, even with fast travel, because she is hauling booty at two in the morning across, oh, there's, like, two, like, I'm, am I supposed to, where, oh, is she, oh, she's still traveling, I guess, whoops, I might actually need to wait here for a few seconds for her to get here, huh, I thought, I'm, I was certain she would beat me here. All right, let's uh, go see if we can talk to Jack and if she's maybe she maybe I do have to like wait for a few hours or you know go take a nap or something. Hello. All right, hi Jack. This has been a dream come true to work on the lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. See ya. Okay, so I guess I've got a. I'm guessing this is where if you get here fast enough, if you tell Janet that it's fine. You can watch her getting blown to smithereens. I'm gonna try just like waiting here for a few hours to see if she makes it here on her own. I'm, I might need to like go sleep or leave the area. I'm oh, yep, here we go. Completed. Meet Janet back at Nellis. Okay, so there's. I'm guessing there's definitely the potential for some shenanigans if you if you if you're really determined for it to be so. Uh, where? Where are these guys? Um, alright, let me go outside here. I thought that she would just come to Jack here in the, uh, in the hangars. Let's see. Oh, it wants me to go here? Is this where she, where they are? Let me see. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, I guess they went somewhere different. Alright, are they in here? Let's see, I know I have to keep looking at the map every three seconds. What would I do without- ooh! There's quite a few people in here. Hello. Mo Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. Oh. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while? So we can get to know each other better? Oh. Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Aww. <laughs> they look toward an outsider. So I'm happy that we managed we to raise the bomb. Oh, 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 oh gosh, everyone started talking. Thank you for your help. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Ah, <laughs> uh, fresh love. They, they haven't even gotten to know each other yet. Y'all probably hate each other, and you don't know it yet. All right, well, time for me to go. Later. Cupid is bouncing out. Well, I'm, I didn't realize that was going to give me boomer fame, too. Oh, oh gosh, everyone's just yakking sure. nonstop here. They're giving me a headache. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad that worked out, and it, for whatever reason, wasn't at all creepy. Well, gosh, she's going to have a lot less time to work on the, uh, on the bomber. Is this guy running toward me? He's running toward me. Hi. No? What? Where is this guy going? What's going on? Where is this guy running to? That's so... Why are they all running? What the heck is going on over here? There's like people... Like, what's this one guy doing? He's like skipping. Is something going on over here that I'm not aware of? Or is everything just really hardcore glitching out? I think everything was just hardcore. What is go? What's this skipping? Hi. What are you Hi. doing? Bye. How are you today? Okay, that was yeah. Okay, I guess it was just. <laughs> all right, all right, whatever. Okay, okay. What do I have now? All right, I've got. Oh gosh, I uh, where was this one? Was it this in camp? Oh, I thought this was in Camp McCarran. It's in the strip. 
Um, let's see. Oh, Followers of the Apocalypse. I forgot about that one too. Gosh. I've got so many. Okay. Um, <laughs> not sure if I want to actually do that, but we'll see. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's go talk to the followers of the apocalypse. <laughs> and then I guess maybe I should go on down to this strip to see about um, that debt collector one. Oh goodness, I've, I've forgotten a lot about a lot of these quests. Let's go on in here. Feels good to get them all cleaned up though, even if they, they, they don't give a whole lot of experience or anything, probably because I got them forever ago and they're like low level quests or something i don't know or maybe that's just how what side quests are all right haven't been in here in a minute all right i like these folks ah, though prick benny had it coming <laughs> all right where's is this my mohawk girl here yep here's mohawk girl one of my aides said you got into the lucky 38. if you see someone by the name of emily near there we would like you to work for us what um, okay. So, I met a kid who's unsatisfied with life in the Great Cons. Will you take him on as a follower? We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Well, he's a poet, kind of. He's obviously a bright, sensitive soul, and he loves literature. None whatsoever. Uh, well, it's just, he's kind of a poet, sure. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. I knew it would be that easy. <laughs> uh, always with the creepy silent stares like, goodbye, see you tomorrow, or see you soon. Have a nice life. Like anything, hey. seriously anything besides creepy stare. <laughs> Like, from now on, when I'm done conversing... Hey, oh. you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Uh, helping. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, well, I guess I'm... Ooh, which one of these is close? I guess I'm going right back here, then. I thought I would go right to the strip, but... I guess I need to go let the dear poet know about the good news. <laughs> oh gosh, is there anyone, is there even going to be anyone here? <laughs> I, uh, poor fella might just be here all by his lonesome. Let's see, is he still, I'm guessing he's still in the same spot. Looks like it, yeah, oh there's still, a, oh there's still people here, okay. Alright, I, um forgot about this. I don't think I can survive the jump if I jump. <laughs> but it's so much faster. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. No jump. Well, I've got power armor on. No, no, no. Yeah, don't, can't I get, like, some, some, like, rocket jets or something so I can, like, travel greater distances and, and like, a single jump or something? <laughs> No, none of that. Okay, got a bit of a run here to uh, to our dear poet over here. Hopefully he will be happier with his new life than, I don't know, wherever the great cons are going, but they're not sticking around in the Mojave. Well, except that guy over there. I guess a few of them are sticking around. I thought this place would be abandoned Damn when it, I came back. Syllables. All How right. do you spell gesticulate? Hi. You gonna make fun of me too? No, leave. You've got the right haircut for the followers of the apocalypse. The followers have agreed to take you on as a member ahead to the old Mormon fort. They did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. <laughs> Can't get you out of here fast enough, can we? Caesar's veteran. Level up. Awesome. I've been really looking forward to this level too as well. All right, um, should I just max my speech out? I think I should. What's the point in having it at 95 if you're not going to get it to 100, right? And uh, same with repair. Let's get some more points in that and see if I can finish leveling up my melee there. And I really want to get... Oh, let me see what all the... Oh, just one new thing. Spray and pray. 
Your attacks do much less damage to companions, <laughs> allowing you to liberally spray an area with reckless abandon. Ah, I love this game. I love the way people write things. Spray with reckless abandon. That sounds like me. But no, I really wanted to get this. This is one that I almost wish I got at 20. When you choose the Explorer perk, every location in the world is revealed on your map. Get out there and explore. They're making short work at the NCR. And that's what I hear. All right, so, oh boy, lit up like a Christmas tree. Look, oh my gosh, I didn't realize New Vegas was so big. Oh my gosh. Goodness, I thought it was smaller than Fallout 3, but apparently I need to walk around a hell of a lot more. Oh, Bloodborne Cave. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Oh my gosh. A cap counterfeiting shack? What? Counterfeit caps? What's the point? Cannibal Johnson's Cave? What? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, this is one of the, the one that I've been needing to go to. How did I miss it? It's right by... I, I actually don't know how I missed this place. It's 188 Trading Post. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how many areas there are to visit. Where do I want to go for, for fun and exploration? How do I know which of these is exciting? Oh, a drive-in? I kind of want to go to the drive-in. I've never been to... Ooh, Caesar's Legion safe house, an old nuclear test site, a crashed vertebrate. There's so much cool stuff out there. Cool. Okay, what else can I do now? I don't think I have any new Kims. Uh, finding entertainers is going... Oh, this guy. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's, let's go kill the Caleb McCaffrey, I suppose. That's what it's going to have to come down to. So it looks like it's in the strip. I thought it was in Camp McCarran, but I suppose we'll see. All right, welcome once again to the strip. I didn't think it was going to take me so long to run around doing side quests. I uh, was going to go to Bitter Springs here at the end, but I think I might save that for another video. I'm not really sure how involved of a quest that's going to be. I'm, I'm actually really surprised that the side characters have so much going on. Oh, is he right here? Oh, this is not a good spot to be in, buddy. Hey! Huh, so the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Okay, um... <laughs> give me a share of the caps and your hat, and you can go free. I'm here to collect McCaffrey. No one crosses the Garrett twins, and... Nah, just thought I'd say hi. <laughs> well, you know what? Give me a share of the caps and that sweet hat, and you can go. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. What? I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. I thought I was giving you a good deal, you jerk. I'm literally wearing power armor. I could crush your skull right now. Um, speech? All I need is your hat and you're a free man. I'll tell Francine you are dead. Like, see, I'm trying to do this guy a favor. I guess I haven't got a choice but to put you away. I'm going to give you one last chance, just because I'm feeling extra nice today. But normally you would be a dead man for talking to me like that, but you caught me on a good day. I just need that sweet, sweet hat, and you're good to go. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. <sighs> would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Hey, I could still do it, you know. Well, whoa. Okay. I don't think that's what they mean by doggy style. Well, you just slid up and started dancing. All right. Well. You hear about that band of crazy old ladies running around? Uh. I hear they're real vicious when they mug folks. I think I might have run into some of them actually. All right. Well, that was actually pretty easy so i need to go back to the what was it was it the atomic wrangler it's been like forever let's i don't know let's let's 
Let's go back this way until I find until the quest marker tells me where to go. All right. Well, I don't know like what uh, side areas would be exciting to explore, or if I should continue along with what I'm going to do with Mr. House, because it seems like. Mr. House has got to die, no matter what path I'm going to go, and I feel like once I do that, it's going to be the beginning of the end, so I, I don't know if there's like any cool like side areas or any exploration, especially now that I've got the explorer perk. I mean, I could just go to places that just sound interesting, like, oh, this sounds cool. I'd, whoa, what the hell just happened? All right, well, thanks. Boom. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me for no real reason at all. <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, Atomic Wrangler, I guess that's where I'm going. Yeah, 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 that's where I'm going. I'm not a complete idiot, am I? All right. All right, yeah, 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 it's coming back to me. All right, let's hey. see, James Garrett and Francine. So, Benny's dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. <laughs> you know it. So, I took care of McCaffrey, better late than never. Yes! Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward... Here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. Sweet. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Oh, so I just get a free room. Sweet, and a ton of experience. Thank you. Till next ya. time. I feel like both of the Garrett's just have weird kinks. He's into robots, she's into hats. No, 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 no kink shaman. Just, just, you know, once you're more open and honest about your, about yourself, you know, people can help you more. Okay, well, I have got a whole bunch of the Mojave to explore now. I'm not even sure where to begin. I, um... <laughs> I'm not really sure if I should do this, honestly. I I think it would almost be more fun. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I, I guess I should go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do it real quick. But I don't know. Like, I don't want to help them. But maybe there's like a way I can further sabotage. If anything else, I can clear a quest out of my quest log. Hopefully this will just be real quick, but might have a follow-up, might have some way I can do some shady stuff. I don't know. I'm not really sure if there's really a whole lot I can even do here, because I know that I, I found out that there's a spy, but um, I, I when I talked to people, it didn't seem like there was any new dialogue anywhere, so I'm not sure if there's someone I've missed that's important to talk to here, or if I just can't really help or or what but I kind of want to be careful is this where I need to go I think it is I think I got to be kind of careful with helping NCR because I don't know if I'm gonna get roasted on site here for what I did to Helios 1 actually all right maybe no one knows about that yeah should I be in here <laughs> am I gonna get in trouble no I think I'm okay I think I'm safe for now even yeah, I think I'm okay. I probably shouldn't have done what I did at Helios 1, but everything seems to be okay for now. Alright, I can't tell... I don't think I went up here before. I'm, I think I might have missed some important uh, spots in, on this play. Yeah, maybe not. Hmm. Just doing some quick looking around. I don't remember going up here if there was anyone important or not. Oh. You got something oh yeah. To say, oh yeah. Or do you always look like that? So did. Okay. So she You're doesn't. Back. Yeah. Do you have anything new to say? Maybe I just thought. Oh nope. Not at all. Huh. 
It just seems weird that I, after finding out... You got something to say, yeah. or do you always look like that? Uh, maybe everyone hates me for what I've done, and Helios won, I don't know. Let's see, do I go in... Oh, hello. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. Ah, what is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. Oh, so there are some people I missed in here. Are you the spy? Are you a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never <laughs> lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. <laughs> but I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Oh. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so what's your role here? I was wondering what, the, what, what, what the deal with her voice is. I think it's really cute, though. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Okay, need any help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's Ooh. back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Oh, really? Mercenaries? What for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. Seems that I have missed quite a bit of Camp McCarran here. All right, you. We need to talk. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? What? No. Uh... Uh, actually, I have an invoice. Well, I, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, maybe. Sure, that's right. No, I wouldn't... But I, I wouldn't be smart enough to do that. I have one IQ. No, this is the first I've heard about Vault 22. You, well, you know what? I'm here for on a mission. Let's get to that first. Actually, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Oh. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess that's all there was to it. It was, it was just to go here and talk to this guy, Quest. Okay, well, let's see. You mentioned Vault 22. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. What? We'll keep that to ourselves. Wait. <laughs> Vault 22. Where to begin? Okay. I'm listening. Save the sales pitch. Just tell me what you want to do. No, no, no. I like hearing about the vaults. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Ooh. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. Mm. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? This sounds familiar. Yes, I'd say so. Nothing, nothing is impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. <laughs> the bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. Ooh. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Ooh, interesting. Scientific discovery is never so simple as that. Tell me more. This all sounds hard to believe. What do you need from me? Tell me more. Good. I thought I sensed the kindred soul in you, beneath the wasteland veneer. Hmm. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Perhaps. Plants are spilling from their gate. Ooh. No one tends them. No one waters them. Really? Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I want to go see it just to see it, honestly. I'll do it. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. Ooh. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Okay. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. 
A computer room, you understand? No. Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? <laughs> Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Uh-huh. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. The plants in there are going to eat me, aren't they? Oh? What might those be? All right, uh, tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. Ah. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters, medicine, engineering, biology. Uh, important stuff. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. Mm. And what about the people here? Let's see, you said you were the director. You Do you control the dam from here? What other responsibilities? And <laughs> NCR's chances against the Legion ought to be pretty good. Do you control the dam from here, then? Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. Uh -huh. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I don't. Fortunately, we also have the Helios One facility. <laughs> One of our external contractors recently got the station up and running. His name was something like <laughs> Exceptional or Marvelous or... <laughs> Uh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, no, that was me. I fixed Helios one. No, I, I better not claim credit for that, considering what happened. Fantastic. Yes, that was it. Had, exactly. He had the theoretical degree. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so you said you were the director of OSI? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. No, I direct our eastern operations. Ah, I've I been see. responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. Oh, really? I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Hmm. You're doing all these things yourself? NCR has a food shortage. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. Okay, so NCR has a food shortage? Not yet. But our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Uh-oh. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. Oh, dear. Well, you know, that's the thing. It's in a decade. You know, since it's not tomorrow, no, I'm sure absolutely no one is doing anything about it, right? We have a problem doing things until it's, like, too late, basically, right? So, yeah, you're researching all these problems yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Your team? One other person? <laughs> Good grief. What other responsibilities do you have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. Ooh. But those haven't panned out too well, from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Oh, okay, and then it all comes crumbling down right there. It's Stuff needs water to grow, man. What do you think? It's, it's a desert, like, come on. What do you think of NCR's chances against the Legion? That ought to be great with Caesar dead. To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. The more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. Ah. Uh, I kind of like this guy, though, I, I yes. think. Yes. Goodbye. He sounds like he doesn't really care about, like, from that right there. It sounds like he doesn't necessarily... Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Uh, yes. He asked me to get some data. Why so interested? You're right. It's none of your business. Well, yeah, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that, but you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. Oh. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Ooh. Not even her name? 
Or any of the other mercs? Mm, maybe, maybe never mind on this guy. Yeah, um, maybe he'll learn I need to have another talk. It never came up. Yeah, no, he didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard oh, back from Keeley yeah. and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's Aww. safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Okay, this woman's sweet. Not my problem, Keeley's on her own. I'll try and I will, but now I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Alright. <laughs> well, so does she... Does she have any more... Of course. Information Anything. about... Uh, oh, I can... I can... Let's see, I can talk to quite a few things. Okay, so can you tell me anything else about Keely then? I'm guessing the plants are alive. <laughs> Keely's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. Oh, When great. you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Oh, she must be a... a ghoul, maybe? Yeah, the, the plants are alive, and by alive, I mean they're like... They're, they're mutant plants that are carnivorous and I'm gonna have to kill them. They're like like giant Venus fly traps, right? Exactly how old is Keely? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war, the Great War when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. She's a ghoul. So I'm <laughs> guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Hopefully a ghoul, not... Yeah, it's gotta be a ghoul. Like, I don't know what else it could be. she could be. Yeah, so how did those two get along? Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw. Oh, boy. I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Really? Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist. Really? And gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keely because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Man, see, he pulled the wool over my eyes. I... I thought that, um... He sounded like he was just interested in science. I didn't think he was into the politics, but she's saying the opposite, and I'm more inclined to believe her. Um, so what do you think of Dr. Hildern, then? The director? He's very well-spoken and knowledgeable. Oh. He seemed focused on results, maybe not so much on people. He's not what you'd call warm. Unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Uh, Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. Wow, so he takes credit for your work? He sure does. Wow. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. Poor woman. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. Hey, now, you might want to be careful. Okay, well, gosh, I didn't realize what I was getting into. Camp McCarran had some secrets in here, didn't it? I like this lady, so what's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. I'll say... So, Hildern mentioned the followers of the Apocalypse, and yeah, I hear food around here is pretty bad. It's foul, to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar oh. now and then. <laughs> Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Well, who will? <laughs> okay, I thought that I meant the food supply, not quality, but sure. So, Hildern mentioned the followers of the Apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the Ooh. locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. Oh, so... There's your politics. Right. Stay Ugh. safe. That's that's messy, and I don't even know if I want to get involved. Hey. All right, so it seems like I've got a couple of things to do now. 
I need to... Something I... Yes, yes. So do, what do, is it? Um, yeah, there's nothing I can talk to him about as far as a spy, unless I do this, but I, I really don't want to start helping the NCR more than I already am and have been. It's getting really complicated between me and the NCR, but this Vault 22 stuff does sound pretty interesting, though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, back to Camp Mc... Er, um, let's see. Actually, what... Uh, return to it and let her know that you've delivered the invoice. I do need to do that. Why is it highlighting, like, right here, though? Is she actually here? Like, that's strange. It's She should be back at the... Wait, am I, am I crazy? <laughs> yeah, return to Alice McLaughlin and let her know you've delivered the invoice. Why is the quest marker... Like, right here. Wouldn't it be at the Crimson Caravan? I'm, I'm just, I'm just really kind of confused here. Like, if I look at the local map, yeah, it's telling me to go back out to the Mojave. Okay, maybe it's, I'm just gonna go where I know to go. So, let me just go return this real quick. And, um, I think next time, like I was saying, I'll go check out Bitter Springs. <laughs> And then um, probably Vault 22. I'd like to look at Trade Post 188. Um, I don't know if there's anything else uh, cool to check out, what other neat areas there might be, but I think those are the important ones I should do. Alright, let's go into the barracks here. Gosh, I've got, what time is it anyway? I've gotten, oh, it's, I guess it's Did been you like know the a couple of days. Up lately? <laughs> I was about to say, I feel like I've done like a lot in one day here. Welcome back. All right, delivered the thing. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Ooh, here we go. Here's where I can start making mischief. What other jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. Ooh. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. Oh. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. <laughs> oh, so... She's got a bunch of quests, and I can... Maybe there's some way I can create mischief with all of them and just fail all of them and just really screw everything up. Let me see. Tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Oh. So she, they're trying to take control of all of the trade routes. I already know that from reading the terminal a little bit. Okay, what's the problem with Henry? The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Mm. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. It sounds like he needs a promotion. Now, what's the gunrunner job? The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, hmm. if it can be helped. I wonder if... Hmm, I'm wonder, I don't know if there's Thank a you. way I can... Was there something else? Sabotage these. You'll have to find someone else for the gunrunner job. That's not something I do. Oh. I understand. No hard feelings. But you will, of course, keep our conversation on the matter strictly confidential. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought there would be... It's been a pleasure. Some decision-making there or something. I don't know. Okay, so maybe there's a way I can... Oh! Yeah, it just, uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I just got to deal with Cassidy Caravans and Henry Jameson, which will... I'm not sure if there's a way I can sabotage those or not. Uh, and I've got this stuff. So yeah, I guess next time I'm going to travel to Bitter Springs with Boone. Those cons got the I'd hit. like to check out Vault 22 it. and maybe see a if there's a way I can mess with all of the the quests or something <laughs> that I just got. So it is back to Bitter Springs for me next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Fallout New Vegas. Really do appreciate you guys for watching. Glad I got a bunch of side quests done, but now I've got a whole bunch more, it seems. Thanks again for watching, guys, and bye for now.